oh dear god this episode this the first three episodes of the series are so far stomping sword art on line one in the dirt hello everyone and welcome to my sword art online two episode three review and for those of you who are wondering where my um where the live reaction is um i am not going to be doing them and I never will be doing them for any anime. Um, yeah, you can probably come to a conclusion after that. Um, and I won't be posting, um, reposting my review. There's just no point at the, really. But um, if you want my initial thoughts on, on it, then I will post it. But only if there's like a certain amount of comments. So yes, let's get down into the review. This episode. I thought episode one was a brilliant start, yes. For episode two, brilliant start and good introduction to um, Shinon. This episode, focused around Shinon again, and it was done masterfully. Shinon is a true gamer at heart. She wants to become stronger within the game because she thinks it will be c make her stronger in the real world and that is a natural notion because that's what ev well at least most gamers think they think by adopting another persona and the way that they um react in with certain skills like with socializing is um a more common thing and leadership it helps develop those even if it's not having an essential direct impact so yeah Shinon brilliant character I'm liking her so far well so far I like her now she is my favorite character out of the Sword Online series and I in Sword Online 1 I didn't even have a favorite character I liked them but I didn't have a favourite character. But now I do, and and I like that. This, e like I said, this episode focuses around Shinon again, but it, it focuses on a past and life within the real world. But what we got was was so small, yet it was enough at the same time. We got to see her past as a child, and what I find funny is, well, it was explained later on down the lines of the anime, and I like her logic for this. Um, she has a fear of guns, and before it was mentioned it, later on, I was like, hmm, that's a bit of an oxymoron. I mean, it, is it to do with the same thing as my fear with blood, like it doesn't affect me within games as it does in real life. I mean, I thought, because to me that, I I put that as making sense, because it would do. But, um, yeah. Shinon has a fear of guns because of the um, bank robbery. And she was forced to shoot a man. Like it, it was done masterf masterfully. She she was a hero. She saved him. She saved her mum. But what annoyed me was the fact that she looked at her with uh, disgust and horror. It's like she did. She was looking at a complete stranger. And I I just hated that. I mean, like your kid just saved your life. I mean she was forced to kill someone and then you're just looking at her like that I, I mean she's not a monster she's a kid she doesn't know any better I mean her, she acted on instinct she was like oh my god my mum is in trouble I don't, what, what am I gonna do but of course this had a um, negative effect on her like I mentioned the fear of guns and oh oh those three girls in the beginning bitches how would they find I I don't know how they find how they found that out. But um if it's mentioned down the line like they're the outside antagonists for Shinon, then fair enough, but um yeah, so far to me they're just like minor 
characters or at the very least filler for the anime. But um, yeah, oh, didn't like them. Using f fear indoctrination. <laughs> <laughs> saying that I like Asnod, but that's an entirely different anime. Well, manga for this ca for um, that case. Um, yeah, and um, I think she's torturing us. I, th I f looking at it, she has the same gun that she used from what I saw that she was forced to kill the robber, and um, holding the gun induced this panic attack, and. Um, it's a little bit. I find it a bit strange that she. I think she's forcing herself to go into these panic states, or with what she said, um, like holding a gun or being a, or strengthening herself within the game will help her deal with the guns. Which is fair enough. She's probably testing herself to see if she's becoming more capable with them within the real world. But I don't. F while I believe her. She's not actually helping herself directly, and I'll explain that a little bit more um, in a minute. But, um, yeah. Shinon's real life persona, she is just torturing herself. She wants to be saved. Sh she appears fine to her friend, um. Oh god, I forgot his name. Um, hold on, I'll get his name now. <laughs> I'm not gonna say SH. Shinkawa, the name is Shinkawa. Um, yeah, she appears fine to a friend, Shinkawa, but um, it, that's just it. It's the appearance that she is portraying. She doesn't want to appear weak to her friend. But um, while. Now then, he wanted to protect um, Shinon, and. That's understandable. Friends do want to protect one another, but um, I don't think he was suggesting it in a pitiful way. But um, I think Shinon took it as such, but didn't actually show it. And um, I think that would affect it down the line. Now, no, well. I did say, but that episode, but that video was obviously gone. I haven't read the manga. Um, this is based purely off um, the an off the anime. So, um, if I'm right or wrong, don't say anything. It's like good to understand. Good to um, well, be surprised for something like this. But um, yeah, um, but I may be reading too much into it with um, um, Shinon thinking I was pity, but still, with what she desires, it's um, understandable. Now then, with the gun part, um, how I mentioned that she she isn't helping herself directly. She doesn't go up close and personal with her enemies, and that's obviously um, true because her ad adopted gun is the sniper rifle. I think if she was ever... Now, I don't know... Well, it wasn't really shown um, her um, time building up to um the rank and power level she is now but um i'm assuming that she's a ranger class so it, it would be typical for them to use a sniper but um if they started off with a handgun then obviously what i'm saying is basically bull and yeah um her fear isn't actually within the game but um as this as is, as of this point since i don't know her time leveling up to what she is now. Yeah, I'm just thinking, Adam, she's lying to herself within the game because she isn't actually facing her enemy, so to speak. Yes, she faced Behemoth, but it wasn't directly. She was still a few distance away. But, yeah. Yeah, I really like this character. I really do. Strong within a game. But weak on the outside, but and that's not um, a jab, because to well, can I? Well, I'm strong within within the gaming world uh, to to a degree um, with what I do, 
But, um, yeah, within the real world, I am basically a useless mess. Well, yeah, a waste of human flesh. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta laugh. And what else? So that was the Shinon section. Then we moved to, um, Kirito's section, which was, eh, it was okay. But that nurse, dear God. Oh, what she said, um, <laughs> I know what she said, but uh, yeah, I just, I can, just can't repeat it. Oh, God. Knowing that your manhood was being viewed, not, not in that way, but, yeah, um, when you were comatose. <laughs> uh, it's not a good, it, it's an unsettling feeling. But yeah, um, I said, um, last time that, um, the bureaucrat, the, um, no, oh, yeah, that episode isn't there, is it? Uh, the bureaucrat that um, Kirito is working with, I, he reminds me so much of Urahara. He said, when um, the note he was given from the nurse from him, he said, P.S., don't let your um, urges get the better of you. I know you're with, an attract with attractive company. I was just like, oh, God, I was gone. I was gone. So we got set up for um, Kirito going into um, Gun Gale Online. Oh, wait, I'm getting ahead of myself. Death Gun. Um, I don't know if um, um, the person on the computer at the end was actually Death Gun. Um, but f for what's going on, I'm just going to assume that it is. Um, he has a hit list. And um, Shinon, she's next. Bastard. Better leave my girl alone. <laughs> She's mine. <laughs> um, so yeah, we got set up for Gun Gale online for Kirito going into Gun Gale online. We got brilliant character development for um, Shinon, both in real world and in game. And yeah, this episode. Um, people will probably think that I'm being generous, but um, out for people who are going to say, "Oh, you're on the sort of online bandwagon." No. I will firmly admit that this series is better than Sword Online 1. But, um, the yeah, ranking that I... Well, ranking? Yeah, let's call it that. The ranking that I gave um, Episode 1 and Episode 2... Well, Episode 1 was a 7 out of 10, and Episode um, 2 was an 8 out of 10. And for this episode, I want to give it a 9 out of 10. Um... It was brilliant. I'm sorry. It, it, yeah, it was brilliant. Um, we just got... We're just getting introduced to this new character in um, a masterful way. I mean, it w It makes me want um, a sooner and everyone flushed out a little bit more. But um, I don't think that will happen. But yeah... I can I saw that there were a lot of missed opportunities in Soda Online One, but Soda Online Two, which just showing it plain as day. So yeah, nine out of ten. Shinon, amazing character. I look forward to see what what she has in store for the rest of the series, and I hope that she doesn't die. <laughs> I'm worried. So yeah, that was episode three. Um, apologies for for everyone that. Well, for the 400 people that watched um, last week's episode and was expecting another live reaction, they're not being done anymore. Do apologise. Gotta stick to reviews. So, yeah. My name's Lord Zaydan. This was Sword, Ep Sword Online episode... Sword Online 2 episode 3. <sighs> Sheenon, such a badass. Good day.